All right, all right, everybody. I have arrived at the hotel. I park as far away as possible. Um, here's my car, and that's where the hotel is, so that there's plenty of parking spots for guests to park. I park as far as possible, as far away as possible. Anyway, uh, that is important, obviously, so that there's plenty of space for everybody else. And uh, yeah. Let's see what's happening in the kitchen. I'm kind of hungry, I'm wondering what I'm gonna order. I think I'm gonna order a salmon salad today. I guess I'm fat enough, I, I should probably do something a little bit better. A friend of mine to arrive here shortly as well. Hey world, what's up world? How are you doing? Uh, Vladimir here again with Escape Hotel. This time I am in the hotel and just wanted to give you a quick uh, quick update on a couple of things that have been happening recently. Uh, we're getting more and more people, which is, which is amazing, incredible. Um, people ordering more and more food from us and drinks and whatnot, which is, which is great. A restaurant is picking up a little bit at a time. So that's, that's, that, that's a progress. Um, which is awesome. Uh, We're fully booked, um, but that just kind of becomes a daily thing of mine. Every time I turn on the camera, it seems like it is what it is. I'm gonna take you for a little walk around in the moment, but wanted to show you, share with you a couple of a uh, couple of things and a couple of stories. First of all. Uh, we're struggling with phone calls. So if anyone knows a company that offers a phone system, PBX of some sort, where phone is, one number is rang and multiple, multiple phones ring at the same time, I would really, really appreciate it because I have contacted a couple. None of them are getting back to me for some reason. I have no idea why. And um, even one that was recommended to me by a friend and still no one is getting back to me. Um, I have no idea why. I want to give them money, they don't want to take it. So if anybody knows of a good company that does this, I would appreciate it because look at this. This is our business phone and check this out, look. Hopefully it's focusing correctly, but look at how many missed calls and notifications, WhatsApp messages we have missed just in the last few minutes. Um, from one hand, I we definitely need to answer the phone uh, much more um, often, I mean, as, as, as much as we can, but we are busy, we are quite um, understaffed, I guess, we, I should say, perhaps that's what the problem is, but it would be really nice if the phone rang in mo to multiple, uh, multiple locations at the same time. On the other hand, though, if you look at our website, I mean, everything is explained. I, I mean, everything, pricing and uh, room types and obviously videos that I'm making, photographs that we have made in the past. Everything is very well explained. Yeah, people that are calling are calling for kind of simplistic in a way uh, uh, questions as in, well, how much is the cost for a room between this day and that day, whatever that is. Well, you called us because you visited our website. You are already on the reservation page. By calling, it won't make it any different. It will be exactly the same thing. So calling is a little bit useless. In fact, I'm almost inclined to decline people that call us for such questions, to be honest with you. I'm thinking about this. We might implement such a policy because if you cannot figure it out on your own on our website, which is pretty, pretty clear, then perhaps we don't really want you here. I know it's a little bit harsh, but it is reality when we are fully booked and, um, and uh, people are calling us for a very simple question of how much rooms cost. I know, sounds a little cocky here, a little bit arrogant, but you have to look at it from our perspective that if people can't figure out the pricing on their own on the website, then based on what I have shown you, based on the customer type that we are attracting, it is probably better not to have those people here. All right, that's on, uh, that's on the type on, on this particular issue. Second thing I wanted to mention, we, we uh, received a, 
uh, interesting customer. She is a, um, uh, a gypsy woman uh, from uh, Turkish descent that immigrated to France and uh, came here with her husband. Horrible attitude from the very beginning. And this is a lesson learned from, for us. We should have received, refused service and let her go at the moment she walked in. She walks in with a very, very bad attitude. Her and her husband, by the way, is French. She's, uh, uh, she lives in France, but is a, uh, from Turkish descent, but a gypsy woman. And um, uh, uh, starts yelling and screaming. I mean, seriously, yelling and screaming. She booked through Booking.com, and I mentioned this multiple times. Whenever you book through these websites, your, your websites, you're paying uh, 30, 40, 50, perhaps even more uh, in terms of percentage-wise, higher rate than reality. And yet he's argue, she's arguing about the exchange rate, which would make a difference, I mean, maybe a euro maybe two maybe three at the most when she just overpaid by hundreds this is one example that that, that i wanted to give you because it it left the customer with a uh, unfortunate taste of our experience she left a uh, negative review on you uh, on the booking but I, and I, I understand the point that she has overpaid and perhaps she has figured that out along the way and that's why she had this attitude from the very beginning. I don't know why her attitude was like this. However, I do have a different theory on this matter, why her attitude was like this. There are some immigrants that when they immigrate to uh, Western countries, United States or Western Europe, when they return back to their country, they do have this attitude of being superior to everyone else. And I believe she had this attitude. The way she was speaking, the way she communicated further um, with the staff, um, kind, of, uh, kind of sad. On the top of that, they owe food, drinks, whatever they had during their duration. I was gonna let it go. She left early in the morning and uh, didn't pay her bill. That's fine. Um, I mean, it's not fine, but I was going to let it go. But then she ends up writing this review. Now, I am thinking I'm going to charge, charge her because we do have her credit card on file from the fact that she did pay for other services along the way. Uh, so she did pay for some uh, food and drink, but didn't pay for other food and drink. Uh, some orders, but not our order, orders. So I'm thinking about char charging her, to be honest. I don't know, maybe it is too mean uh, uh, to charge her for that, simply. But on the other hand, she did consume the alcohol. I don't know, I'm thorn on this. I don't know, what you think? Should I charge her? I mean, one, she had a really bad attitude. Um, uh, two, treated the staff poorly, three, wrote a bad review, and then left without paying her bar bill. I was gonna let that go, I don't know. I'm being torn on this one. Maybe I should charge her, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I mean, I wanna be kind to people. I want even those that, that have a little bit of mental, uh, challenges to leave with something positive perhaps the fact that she didn't pay is maybe it would be a good thing for her I don't know uh, I'll think about it hmm. give me your thoughts on this I'm still debating I'm really debating if I should charge her or not but let me tell you something else I'm gonna do now in just a few minutes I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the pool I'm waiting on a friend of mine to arrive um, and then we're gonna go ahead and jump in that swimming pool in just a moment but let me show you real quick what that looks like now that and I'm trying to do it when there are as few as few people as possible in here so let me show you real quick what that oops the other way around look at it at night in the at sunset so nice isn't it 
anyway I think I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the pool by the way we get these balls I mentioned this in one of my other videos let me show you they keep on flying around but they're really good for swimming with them people grab them and they just hold them as floating device from this side all the way around to the other side back and forth back and forth these are the balls that I'm talking about here these ones very cool right um, let me swing it around a little bit and uh, yeah some uh, customers uh, are having food here point maybe I'll pick you up again a little bit later when I when I jump in the pool maybe not I will see I'll think about it let me show you what else we've got we have a couple of bicycles people are right, liking this quite a bit some people are enjoying our bicycles simple bikes people get them and just ride with them they can go on this path that is right in front of me here and it goes for I mean very 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 long time this path all the way up through the mountain swings up and down up and down very nice very 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 nice trail and let me show you the bikes well these are a couple of them we've got more and people can take them they're very simple bikes but they do the job people take them for uh, for a little spin all right so these are the outside bathrooms by the way if you haven't seen them let me show you what that looks like pretty clean actually spotless let me open this door as well bathroom it is what it is okay let me do you hear this it's coming from some sort of birds on these trees see these trees here they're making this noise every evening for about at about sunset they're making this noise very obnoxious noise ah here is I jump and uh, they're making this noise I don't know what it is I don't know if it's birds or what it is crickets I don't think they're crickets they're coming from the trees weird anyway uh, what else do we have today going on well that's it for now maybe let me just uh, swing around a little bit real quick show you from this angle let me show you like a little bit like this right all right cool all right, that's en that's enough for now. We'll speak later. Take care. Bye. Here's our daughter and the bartender Murat doing things. Let's get a good quick look here. What's happening in the kitchen? Some people are sitting playing cards and whatnot. Let's see what's going on here. And let's uh, check out for the day. Good enough. Let's wrap it up with this. Everybody, good enough for tonight and uh here's a quick view of uh situation that's murat that's our daughter and uh yeah that's it everybody's having good fun good time